What's up, y'all? How to not spend a lot of money, you know what I'm saying? Like, ball on a budget, basically. Well, not even ball on a budget. Now, these past two weeks, two weeks, I'm gonna tell you, I had $300 for these past uh, two weeks, I guess, you wanna say? And I just spent the last hundred this week, you know? This, uh, this Monday, you know? And um, this is how you do it. You put yourself on a budget. You be super cheap. Now, a lot of people got families, kids, and stuff. I know this is hard, but I'm talking for, like, mainly this video. I'm sorry not to discriminate. It's for, like, single people. You know what I'm saying? That ain't got a family. You know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to discriminate or nothing. But you can do this with kids and stuff. You just got to be extra tight. Um, yeah, I, I managed to skimp through $300 in almost two and a half weeks. I almost stretched it to three weeks, but I spent the last of it because I had bills and stuff. Now, you just gotta set a budget for yourself. Like, you gotta you gotta go through your bills, look at all your bills, what's your expenses, what's your gas for the week, um, um, what you spend on food. And me, personally, um, I don't spend a lot of money on food. You know what I'm saying? I, like I said, I meal prep every week. I know it sucks. I tell you guys to do this. Um, it sucks. I hate doing it. I, honestly, I hate doing it every time because it takes so long. Well, it takes like four or five hours. Four, four you know, because I got a little, I got a little George Foreman that I cook my chicken on. But uh, yeah, it saves a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Like every job I work with, you know, um, every job I work, the employees are always buying lunch, buying lunch, buying lunch every single day. That adds up so freaking quick. You know what I'm saying? And notice this this is why I meal prep I stack my I'm stacking my chips even when I was unemployed you know what I'm saying I still managed to hold on I was unemployed for a couple of days really but uh, I managed to hold on to that money because I live cheap I do cheap stuff you know um, I don't spend a lot of money especially when I don't got hella money coming in even when you got hella money coming in uh, a lot of people live way above their means it's easy to stack up a lot of bread, even if you're not making a lot of money. It's just, you gotta have that mindset and be picky on how you spend stuff. Like, I'll give you an example today, you know? Uh, this job I'm working, we went out to eat after work. And what's is cool about this job, I was still getting paid while we went out to eat. It's dope as hell, you know? Like, this is a dope ass job, you know? So, they all order drinks, you know? Me, I ordered nothing but water. And the dudes, you know, they try to, you know, try to clown me like, oh, square, <laughs> he's not drinking. I'm not going to pay for alcohol. One, I'm not trying to get drunk, you know what I'm saying? I'd be on my health. I'm not really a big drinker in the first place. And then they order food, too. I always bring food. To, I always bring food to work, you know what I'm saying? That saves you so much money, you know what I'm saying? Bringing your, your own, having your lunch packed, you know? Just try these tips out. It helps. You can you can stack up a lot of money quick. People think like, oh, he's got this, he's got that. That's why he can quit his job. No, I just live very cheap. I don't spend a lot of money. Like, I don't go crazy, you know what I'm saying? I, you can have fun on a budget. People think they got to ball out and have the newest shoes every week and stuff. If you can afford that, do that. But me, honestly, I'm not in the financial situation to do that right now. 